David Riemann, singer of Pink Cream 69 and many others. It's, it's 2022 and this is just basically a small update. We're going to talk many things. We're going to talk about the situation at the moment, unfortunately, what's happened in the Ukraine. I went to the Ukraine a couple of years ago with Tank for the first time. I've been to Russia as well. So I've been there on the streets, you could say. It is different, of course, what's happening now. It's a big surprise for everybody. You know, if we haven't had enough, the whole world with Corona, and now we're getting hit by this whole war thing with, with Russia, it's, it's enough, basically. It's time to, for peace to return to the world. It's the time now, definitely, for us to start enjoying life again. And not all this stuff that's going down. My heart goes out, of course, to the people of the Ukraine. When I was there with Tank uh, a couple of years ago, it was an amazing experience. Uh, I realized, you know, these people, je you know, generally don't have anything. You know, obviously being their holes in the streets. Um, you know, they're, they're struggling anyway, but they they seem they managed to survive. You know, they've been through many different situations over the years, and now for something like this to happen. It is shocking and, and very saddening and let's hope that this thing gets sorted out as soon as possible and people uh, who, you know, who are doing these bad things are brought to the attention of the authorities. Yeah, let's get back to what it's all about. I've been busy very recently working with Dennis, working on a couple of tracks. Uh, things have been delayed, unfortunately, situations happening. Um, the Netherlands have just relaxed the whole uh, corona thing a few days ago so I was in a, a supermarket recently with a mask on and I realized oh wait a minute there's nobody wearing a mask um, right so I took off the mask it felt so good uh, things are changing we're celebrating now carnival here fashing in Germany uh, big style old people are out there having a good time drinking and normally at this time of year that sort of gives you the feeling of you know the winter's over slowly but surely we're returning to spring Obviously March is coming up very soon and uh, it feels good apart from obviously the things that's going on in the world that's spoiling things unfortunately but apart from that it feels good. A little sneak preview of the track should be underneath this uh, of the latest track that we just mixed. Big news of course is the um, the new website coming up. Um, it was a mad idea of mine. Um, obviously the money side wasn't that good you know obviously uh, I got the money from you guys the 5,000 to make the record but that doesn't go goes a long way and of course private money and of course the t-shirts let's not forget the t-shirts money from the t-shirts goes back into the CD it's also a good looking t-shirt I believe it's in the wash again but there's a little picture for you um, but you know the t-shirts um, but I decided I need some kind of, you know, the website needs updating, of course. It's still in the artwork of the last record. There's an introduction page at the moment, but very soon, I'm not sure when, but let's tease you, very soon, the uh, new website will be online. It's been made and created and designed and pimped by uh, Andy. She is the wife of um, Jobert Mello, so the Andy Mello, I guess. Um, she is busy also jobbed as well using the amazing graphics that he uh, uh, designed for my upcoming record Medusa and they're going crazy at the moment obviously you know sorting out the biography it was always a bit sketchy I guess um, you know websites these days people are not leaving Facebook so much you know they go on Facebook or they go on YouTube thank you don't forget to like and subscribe um, you know, they're, they're doing these kind of things, but not necessarily going to websites, but websites still are important. If you want to find out about somebody, you want a bit of information about them, what they've been doing, it's always a good place to go to. And I believe that websites are coming back. And these guys from uh, um, Sledgehammer Graphics, Sledgehammer Graphics, Sledgehammer Graphics, Sledgehammer Graphics are doing an amazing job. They've worked on with bands like Sabaton, Primal Fear, Voodoo Circle, of course, that, you know, basically brought my attention to this amazing artist and his lovely wife. Their support and their professionalism is just absolutely incredible. We've had a few things that we had to deal with, of course, with the, the new website. I had to find a new provider and stuff like that. She, she, she guided me through it, of course, from Brazil. We have a four hour difference, so of course, that's not always easy to deal with. As you can see in the background, hopefully, who knows, 
that should be the artwork of um, the upcoming uh, website so things are moving on slowly coming up again once again to, to the release things are delayed I'm still waiting for tracks um, recently I decided on one track I'm gonna review the refrain I got a great friend of mine from uh, California Eric, Eric Ragno who played on my last round my last solo record played some amazing keyboards he just played on it but the refrain needs a revise admittedly I want this to be an amazing record up until now there's been some amazing tracks the last single Mary Jane came out on the 25th obviously the end of last year we're now in February already time's kicking by I've been busy doing some small projects for an Italian thing that I'm doing uh, for Frontiers Records I've just been doing a video so of course that's always enjoyable and uh, that's just been now finished it looks really amazing looks really great couldn't be there in Italy to make the, the, the video uh, through due to uh, yeah, time uh, situations and, and job job situations basically I did change my life for the last four weeks but now I'm returning back to my old uh, job which makes me feel good it's sometimes you make these decisions in life that don't necessarily work out it's made me feel strained in a way but at the end of the day the music's the most important thing and that shines through. Pink Cream 69 we're still busy working on on a record it's difficult in the moment to find uh, obviously we you know we want to get this record finished want to make a good uh, record but it's difficult you know if you drop a record at the moment as you probably realized there's no tour gigs are coming in slowly but surely with the different projects that I do which of course is fantastic so I'm looking forward to the rest of this year being quite productive I'm gonna be out there at least two or three times in a month which is fantastic in different places in Germany at the moment uh, but I believe and I'm feeling positive and I think we're at the back end of this whole pandemic thing that we've been going through uh, but I decided this time to touch base with you guys obviously trying to keep the videos coming in and, and information thank you for listening I'll be looking forward to the new website I'll do a quick review of the website very soon when it's online and I'll tell you when it's ready once again, my name's David Reedman. Thank you for listening. Adios! <laughs>